Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about tool calling in Langchain in the context of building a AI agent. Okay, without tool calling, building a AI agent is incomplete. And what else is necessary? Planning and memory. So we first cover tool calling in this tutorial and planning and memory we will cover with Langgraph in the upcoming tutorial. Okay, so what is tool calling and why it is necessary? Let's get started. So assume that you have a personal assistant suppose you are very busy and you do uh, business travels normally but you also have personal assistant who do travel planning for you okay now you say to your personal assistant say you can make use of chat gpt interface or deep seek etc this is you can use in order to build up a travel plan plus you can also make use of the website or web browser as a tool in case if you need any further information so this is personal assistant will work for you. For example, you say that, hey, personal assistant, please give me the travel plan for this date to this date. Then what happened? Personal assistant will go to the website chat GPT and then ask questions about that, how the travel plan can be built up considering that itinerary, everything related to that in that particular duration, what is the weather condition, etc. The personal assistant will ask over the chat gpt but there are cases where chat gpt cannot give you latest information because llm are trained at a particular period of time and latest information may not be available within llm okay nowadays we do have web search option within the chat gpt but assume that they do not have that option so personal assistant will do some chat gpt and then get some result and then maybe using the website which is basically web browser as a tool to complete the overall travel plan for you okay so this is the analogy of understanding what i am going to understand in this diagram okay so let's talk about this diagram what is it llm and tool call over here okay so whenever we build an ai agent okay what is necessary that ai agent has to talk with llm maybe continuously to llm in order to fulfill the query that fulfill the ask of the user okay so if assume that there is no tool and LLM is asked about the latest news. So what happened? The LLM may say that I do not have latest news because I am trained for this particular period in time. Then our overall purpose will defeat. But what we can do, we can supply some tools. Tools are nothing but functions. Maybe we create n number of function, one function for calling a web, web search, one function to interact with the database, one function to interact with third party API via REST API call, right? So we actually supply these functions to AI agent saying that you can interact with LLM as well as you can also make use of these tools to complete the query, to complete the ask of the user, okay? So in this case, what happened? Uh, AI agent will interact with LLM. If the LLM response comes in, according to the response, the AI agent will interact with the tool and then finally the overall query will get responded back to the user. Okay. So this way the AI agent work. Now memory part is continuous interaction. It will send continuous data like continuous discussion talk to LLM to actually give the complete context to LLM and that is where the memory comes into the picture. Okay. So let's understand this diagram. So in this block diagram. I have shown that user AI agent sitting LLM client basically whenever we write a logic think of it this is a logic where you write a uh, object of uh, chat GPT etc with the passing the correct model okay and uh, this is where I am just referring it as an AI agent okay and what here it is shown so this LLM client can talk to LLM as well as we have supplied x number of functions to this llm client so llm client is by we actually created we create a function we bind that function to the llm client okay so whenever a query reach to llm client then llm client will send this request the query and the schema of the tool schema is nothing but function declaration schema like for example if i'm creating a add function or multiply function or a weather search function okay Every function has some arguments, basically a contract arguments and the response structure. Okay. So what LLM client, what this AI agent will do, it will send the query along with the tool schema to LLM. 
and LLM will respond back. Okay. So what LLM is going to respond back? So it will make sure that whatever response I am returning back, it will actually identify what tool further the agent can invoke. For example, if I'm saying, if I'm asking LLM, hey, please give me the addition of two and three. And we have already supplied the tool, add function tool to this LLM client. Okay. Now LLM can respond back, hey, this is the function that you can call, add function you can call. And these are the arguments, two and three. Okay. So when this LLM client will receive this response, so LLM client gets to know, okay, I need to call function add with argument two and three. Then this agent, basically LLM client, this agent will invoke that particular function, add function with the argument two and three, and then send back the response to user. Okay. So here important thing is that there is a common misconception that we normally say that LLM is calling the function. No, LLM is not calling the function. LLM, LLM is hosted on servers or something. LLM client, our logic is responsible for calling the function. We are simply getting the schema and the argument value from LLM and then agent itself is responsible for calling the tool or functions with the right set of arguments and then respond back to the user. Okay. So make sure that this thing is completely clear to you that the LLM is not making a call to the function. The logic that you have written is making a call to the function. LLM is simply helping, is simply giving you that this function needs to be called with this argument. That's it. Okay. Then this function, the tool functions or tools, tools are nothing but functions which you have binded to the LLM client. Okay. And this function can be talk to database, can be talking to REST API call, can be doing the web search, etc. So that's why I've shown integration services over here. And this tool is also associated with Pydentic schema. Basically, it help in actually doing the validation and giving you the errors in case it the data type and the arguments that supplied by LLM it does not match, then it will fail. And then obviously it will not do the mistake and the program will give the expected output. Okay, so this is the flow query and then tool binding and then query and tool schema request go to the LLM, then it will respond back to the with uh, with the JSON structure like having this tool underscore calls as key invalid underscore tools and uh, underscore calls. These are the additional uh, keys comes in the AI message response and then basis on that it will invoke the tool and then finally this will call to the integration services and then finally the response back to the user. Let's go back to the code and I will explain each and every bit of it within the code. This is the code that is written. This entire repository, the code is pushed into the public repository and I will share the link in the link description. Okay. So here, if you see, this is Python logic again, uh, we are making use of the chat open AI. So this think of it, this as a, as a LLM client or something, right? So I'm not purely creating an agent as per Langchain because Langchain has moved away from like Langchain recommend Langgraph for AI agentic flow. We will learn about Langgraph in the upcoming tutorial. Here we are learning primarily the tool calling concept. So we are not literally creating the agent, but here we are creating everything which is necessary for tool calling. Okay. So what we are creating here, the object of chat open AI, normally we, this is the normal stuff. And then we are creating the add function, def add function, which simply adds two number, multiply function, which simply adds multiply two number. Okay. And how we can declare a function as a tool. Okay. This is a normal function that you normally write in Python. What difference is you need to annotate that function with add the red tool. Okay. Which is coming from blank chain import tool. So just have to annotate that function with add the red tool. And it, this particular thing is also not mandatory. You, you can add it to have an additional schema validation, basically using Pydentic. So what I did here, here first argument is the name of the tool, which may be different from the name of the function itself. So I have kept it same in this case, and then I am passing the add input, which is the schema of this particular function. I am passing it here, and as well as return direct means the directly returning the response back to the user. Okay, so you can make it as false or true. It's up to you. Okay, it's not mandatory to put it here. Okay, and similarly for multiply function. So what here we have did we did we have an add input schema, multiply input schema. Just for the demonstration purpose, I have added a rule, pre uh, just simple rule that first argument of add function 
should be a multiple of two just to show you demonstration of the validation that if that does not match it will fail okay so now what next step is simply we have an llm object in the diagram we show that binding right in this diagram we have shown this binding on top tools binding right so here this is what we are doing tools binding llm dot bind tools is a function and here we are passing the array remember this is an array because it can take more than one tool right so here we are passing add and multiply tool and then we are asking the message we are asking the query from the llm from the agent basically what is the sum of two and two is and the multiplication of four and three is okay now i'm just invoking this with the message okay so whatever response came in i am just collecting it in uh, appending the message again i will explain you in a bit so bef and let us first just try to run this program and see what is the response of this in this i am just uh, com uncommenting this and we'll see what what happens in this particular response block okay so if i simply if you want to simply see what is in the response right up, up at step 41 so we can run this code over here okay okay this is a huge response coming from the back end from the lm basically so normal structure is like content since it does not so in this case when whenever we use tools it not immediately return any content okay so it it returns us additional structure tool calls structure okay so what it means that it llm identify like what is the function that can be called what is the argument of that function remember it is not calling a function it is returning the schema with the function name and the argument with which you can call the function okay so it returns a tool calls which is an array of object okay what what tool we can call with what arguments so it says that add function you can call with argument 2 and 2 you can call the multiply function multiply tool basically with argument 4 and 3 okay now this is the response coming over here line number 41 let me just comment this just to uh, explain the further part now what happened after getting the response since this is the tool calls i am getting in the response what i am doing i am just looping through it response dot tool calls i am just looping through it with each tool and then invoking that particular tool that's it i am just just grabbing this add and then calling the add function with this argument a and b similarly grabbing the multiply and calling this with 4 and 3 that's it so this is happening over here okay and then I am just finally collecting that response. So make sure that whatever response comes in, I'm just appending it in the messages again. And here also I'm just appending it again. Okay, response. I'm collecting that response. And after that, what happened here? If you see, I'm appending it again. Okay. So why I'm appending it? Basically, after collecting the response, I'm I want to answer, like I want the final answer from the LLM itself sum of 2 comma 2 is a multiply of 4 comma 3 is i want the final answer from llm itself that's why i am appending the response intermediate response in the messages okay so whatever is coming from the llm is nothing but ai message ai message this is the data type and what i am sending is the human message okay so every other thing i am sending back to the llm so this is nothing but memory okay so i'm sending back everything to the llm and then final response will arrive so let us see the final response let me just call the function again that I have just commented this debug statements. Now it will print the final response. The sum of two and two is four and multiplication of four and three is 12. Okay. So this is how the tool calling works. You have set of tools bind with the LLM client and then you are making a query to LLM. LLM respond back with the set of functions that can be called with the arguments. Then you are invoking the function yourself. Basically, the logic is invoking the function itself. And then finally, clubbing every other messages within the messages box. Okay. And then again, invoking the LLM to get the final output. Okay. This is very raw uh, example where you really do not see the benefit of add and multiply over here. But this is the basic fu fundamental uh, understanding. Here we are writing the logic ourselves, right? You say, why do uh, this can 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 be done ourselves as well right why what is the benefit of using ai so here the idea is that I, we are bringing in the smartness from the llm and then calling the function but this part is more of manual right we are programmatically typing in here 
but the, in the real world in the real agent when the real autonomous agent how that work you do not have to take care of this agent itself will take care of this calling the function and returning back the response is the responsibility of the ai agent so then only we say that this is the right ai agent whenever this logic is executed itself by the ai agent so this is the beginning of how the ai agent is making use of the tool calling okay so let's see one more example which is little bit more closer to the real world example in this example let me clear this particular terminal in this example we'll see that here we are supplying a tool this is a web search tool basically what we did we, we are using uv in it for for this entire project setup and the code is already pushed in the repo you can make use of it and this is a public repository i will put the link in the description okay so so here in this case we are using duckduckgo search we are simply uh, uv add command on this and we have installed this particular package and then we, what we are supplying we are creating this tool the use of this tool is simply it takes the string query and do the web search and return the result top three results okay that is the tool we are supplying again we are binding this tool search tool here using the bind tools with an array search and then sending the query to the llm answer the following question if you don't know the answer say i don't know okay so what we are asking what is the latest news on ai obviously it does not know the latest news llm may not news know the latest new, uh, news if it is recently trained one it may give you the answer but the those which are trained in the past right they cannot give you the latest news so in this case we are saying if you do not know the answer so just respond back with the don't know the answer accordingly this tool will get used okay so then we are calling this messages okay and response arrive whatever response arrive i am appending it again make sure that you append it again okay and then again i am getting the tool calls from the llm like okay you can call search function with this query right so let us see what it returns and then finally iterating over it we are calling the search function and finally we are after getting the response we are again appending it and then we are invoking the llm again to get the final outcome okay so if you i am not going to run it to to save time so when we run this command so this is the response basically llm responds back with two tool calls like this this function you can call basically llm says that i don't know the answer you can call this function search function and this is the query you can make use of okay so after receiving this tool calls i am iterating over in the for loop and then calling it okay and final answer whatever comes in i am sending it back to the llm to decorate it with the right answer okay and finally what llm written back this is the output okay this is the latest news on ai this is what returns i hope it start making sense slowly slowly that how the tool calling works in ai agent and true ai agent is like autonomous agent where we do not require this explicit for loop kind of thing and the ai agent can work autonomously so we will learn everything about this in the langraph tutorial so we are upcoming tutorial is on the langraph where we are going to understand about langraph a basic and then we are going to talk about rag rag1 rag2 etc a lot of examples we are going to cover so stick with us stay with us and do like and subscribe to this channel and if you still have any questions please comment in the comment section and thank you so much for watching our videos bye